Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, I have a challenging division problem for you. It's a four-digit number divided by a two-digit number. This is a special request from one of my viewers I read in the comments. They're having a little trouble trying to figure this out. The answer I would like to have as a decimal uh, figure, something like you know 3.4 or 4.5, so I want it to be in a decimal form. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So. I have to put 91 into this big number. Can I put it into seven? Can't do it. Can I put 91 into 73? Still can't do it. So I need to move over to these numbers here, 730. All right, so how many times can I put 91 into 730? So right off to the side, you can start doing some little figures here and little calculations. So I can put two right here. So two times one is two. 9 times 2 would be 18, so that's 182. That's really far away from 730. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 91, I'm going to round it to 100. So how many times can I put 100 into 730? Let's try 7. So I'm going to put 91 times 7. So 7 times 1 is 7. 9 times 7 is 63. Uh, I think I can even get it even closer than that. So let's go ahead and put 91 times 9. So 9 times 1 would be 9, and 9 times 9 would be 81. Whoa, too big. Let's, let's see if uh, 91 times 8 is a little closer. So 91 times 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 9 times 8 is 72. I think that would be a good choice. Now, on big numbers like this, you need to do a little calculation, and this work right here will make it a lot easier for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put eight right here, right above that zero. All right, so then I do multiplication. Eight times 91, 728. So I put 728, and then I subtract. All right, so that would leave me two. I had to borrow here. All right, so that's two. Now, this is the part that I think um, my friend got a little confused on. I need to bring that next number down, okay? So I bring this next number down right here. This is 20, all right? Can I put 91 into 20? There is a, a number that you can multiply that you can do that. And don't forget about this. That is the number, or the digit, zero. Don't forget that this is a digit right here. So 91 times zero is zero. We can't go 91 times one because 91 is bigger than 20. So I put in zero. All right, so I'm going to put zero right here. Zero times 91 is zero. Subtract, then I have 20. And I bring the next number down. And you're like, well, there's no number to bring down. That's where we start to make a decimal point right here. All right, we put a decimal point. Once I put a decimal point right there, I can put as many zeros on that side as I want to. So now I'm going to bring a zero down, put a zero here, and bring it down all the way here. Okay? So now, how many times can I put 91 into 200? Right there. Two. Two d tat, two. So I put a two right here. Two times 91 would be 182. All right, before I end the video, I just wanted to show you what number would go right here if you want to find out what the second number passed the uh, um, decimal point is. So again, we did two times 91, which would be 182. Subtract that, and that is going to be 18. So I need to figure out, I'm gonna bring down another zero right over here. I think I brought down that zero. So I'm gonna bring down one more zero right over here. So now I have 180. So how many times can I put 91 into 180? I can only put it in one time. So 91 times one is 91. So I put the one right here, one times 91, 
and then go ahead and subtract. Again, this would be 7, this would be 10, 9, and then 89. So again, we're dealing with a small number here, and um, I don't think this is, I'm always going to have a remainder, so this right here is just going to keep on going on. So basically, it's 80.21. So that's a good number to stop with right here. So hopefully uh, this will be good for you. Hey, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments down below. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more problems like this. It's a challenging one, but uh, I think you guys did really well on it. So hey, thanks a lot for the comment. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, likey button down below, hit the subscribe button, and like always, have a fun day. Adios, goodbye.